divorce in many quarters is seen as shameful and carries a deep stigma. But in Mauritania, it is not just normal but even seen as a reason to celebrate and spread the word that the woman is available once more for marriage. <laughs> How many times have you been married? And the home to just this is Afri World. Thanks for watching. Mauritania, a country cradled in the sands of the Sahara, is home to a unique cultural phenomenon that stands in stark contrast to global norms surrounding divorce. In this Northwest African nation, divorce is not only common but also celebrated, particularly for women who often find themselves at the center of elaborate festivities marking the end of their marriage. Happy to start a new life. The beautiful women in our country are the ones who divorce and marry again. I hope I'll find someone who will make me happier than the one I was with. For centuries, women have been coming together to eat, sing, and dance at each other's divorce parties. Now, the custom is being updated for the selfie generation with inscribed cakes and social media montages as well as the traditional food and music. In this almost 100% Muslim country, divorce is frequent. Many people have been through 5 to 10 marriages and some as many as 20. Some scholars say the country has the highest divorce rate in the world, though there is a little reliable data from Mauritania, partly because divorce agreements there are often verbal, not documented. In Mauritania, divorce is celebrated, particularly for women, as a symbol of newfound freedom and opportunity. Despite concerns about family stability and economic implications, the divorce market empowers women to initiate divorce and redefine social norms. <laughs> For many Mauritanian women, divorce signifies a celebration of new beginnings and a more fulfilling future. The concept of a divorce market in Mauritania is not a marketplace in the traditional sense, but rather a metaphorical space where divorced women can re-establish their social status and are considered desirable for remarriage. This unique cultural phenomenon is a reflection of the country's matriarchal marriage culture, which has historically granted women a significant degree of autonomy and independence, especially when compared to other parts of the Arab world. The high divorce rate in Mauritania has given rise to what some socialists term a matrimonial career, where women may marry multiple times throughout their lives. A woman with experience from previous marriages is often seen as a better prospect than a young, inexperienced bride. This perspective empowers women to initiate divorce if they feel their needs are not being met, challenging the traditional narratives of women being passive participants in marriages. Islamic law, which governs marriage and divorce in Mauritania, includes a provision allowing a wife to seek divorce by compensating her husband, usually by retaining the bride price. This legal framework provides women with a significant degree of agency in ending their marriages, a rarity in many Muslim-majority countries. The celebratory nature of divorce in Mauritania demonstrates the country's unique approach to marriage. However, this system is not without its challenges. The high divorce rate raises questions about the impact of children and family stability and the economic implications for women, especially those without financial independence. Despite these concerns, the divorce market in Mauritania remains a fascinating example of how cultural practices can redefine social norms and empower individuals, particularly women, in ways they defy conventional expectations. Do you in any way support or disagree with this practice? Drop your comments below. See you in the next. Stay safe and stay blessed. Shalom. Peace.